I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com, and this time around, I've got the AT&T Galaxy S4 in my hand, and for the update to the challenge, I'm talking about battery life, 4G LTE connectivity, and the fact that you only get 9.62 gigabytes of available space on the AT&T version. This is the day six update video. This is what I've found out so far. I'm on day six of my 30-day challenge with the Samsung Galaxy S4, and this is the AT&T version. I worked with the international version for a couple of days and picked up an AT&T version on PhoneDog's account on Monday, so I've been working with the US version for a couple of days now. The review unit was a US version. It was a Sprint one, though, so I have my personal SIM card in this, and I'm continuing the challenge now with a US-based device on my personal account. I talked in a previous video about the fact that the octa-core processor on the international one was a little bit slow by my standards. I thought it was a little bit slower and for the first time ever I thought I enjoyed the US version more than the international version. Snapdragon has come a long way. The Snapdragon 600 CPU is exceptionally fast and that's no exception over here with its 1.9 gigahertz Snapdragon 600 processor chugging along in this device. Now with it comes AT&T's 4G LTE and I've been exceptionally impressed all around. Obviously a great spot in the Dallas Metroplex for AT&T 4G LTE and you can see the speeds are nice and fast. So if you're in an LTE market, you're currently using an AT&T LTE device and you're thinking, you know what, I'll pick up the international version instead of the AT&T version. Think twice about it just because if you're in a good market with LTE, the speeds are fantastic and you can't beat 20 to 40 megabits per second on the download and upload speeds like 11 megabits per second. So pretty impressed all around with the LTE speeds. Another thing I've been surprisingly impressed with is battery life. Now, if you follow my challenges at all or follow my personal accounts, my Twitter accounts, etc., I come from the Galaxy Note 2. I worked with it for about six months, carried it as my personal device after the challenge and when I wasn't working with another 30-day challenge and been incredibly impressed with the Note 2's battery life. So I came into this with expectations that it was gonna be worse, and it is. It's not as good as the Note 2. That said, made significant gains over the Galaxy S3, much better battery life, and I plugged it, unplugged it rather, off of the charger yesterday morning at 6.55 a.m., and by 10.30 when I plugged it in, it was sitting at 32% with moderate to heavy use. So again, I just unplugged it from the charger, so you're not gonna get much data this time around. You can see I've been on the battery for an hour and 23 minutes, and the screen is the predominant driver right now because obviously doing a lot of videos with the Galaxy S4. That said, been pretty impressed at 93%, not bad by any stretch of the imagination, and it usually kind of sits between 95 and 90 for some time. So as you work with a device, you learn the battery habits, and better yet, you can replace the, non, the uh, removable rather battery out of the back. So if you want to carry a couple of spares while you're traveling, you can do so. But again, surprisingly pleased with the battery life on this device, more so than I thought I would be because before the Note 2 I came, from the Galaxy S3. I also wanna talk about my scuff here. I walked into the office this morning, dropped the phone on carpet, and this was the scuff that I got. Unfortunately, I tried to kind of polish it out, but no such luck with that scratch. Hey, it happens, you know what? It's part of the 30-day challenge fun, seeing how many scratches you can get on your device, but still, I'd love to get that scratch out if at all possible. The last thing I wanna talk about in this update to the challenge is the storage space on the device. And we're gonna go back in here to settings to kinda of show you what I'm talking about. Total space available on a 16 gigabyte device is only 9.62 gigabytes. So pretty disappointed with the fact that Android and the UX enhancements and all that stuff that's baked into TouchWiz takes up that much space because I am the most easy, I'm the easiest by far person when it comes to storage space. I don't store a lot of music on my device and I do have a lot of pictures, but comparatively speaking, 4.45 gigabytes of pictures, no big deal. Have about 200 songs, have a couple of notes and that's, that's about it. So when it comes to you know iPhone 5s or Galaxy S3s, I always opt for the 16 gigabyte version in most cases because I find it to be more than enough for me. That said, even I'm pushing it with this device. I've only got 1.54 gigabytes of available space left and with the amount of pictures I take and the fact I'm getting ready to go on vacation, that 1.54 gigabytes is gonna move really, really fast, especially with a lot of pictures that I'll be taking in Hawaii. So really kind of disappointed with that. Would love to see maybe an update to Android or an update at some point that would enable maybe some more storage space. But you do have the micro SD card slot that supports up to 64 gigabytes. So if you do get to that point where you're concerned, you can always pop that in and you'll be ready to go and you can store stuff over on the micro SD card slot. Kind of disappointed about that. A little bit concerned about it, quite frankly, because with the pictures I take, I'm moving pretty close to that 9.62 gigabyte magic mark. Keep it locked on phonedog.com. Day eight will come on Friday and I'll talk some more about the internals, talk a little bit more about the hardware, and we'll see if I have any more scuffs on my device. Hit me up on Twitter if you wanna see something particular, phonedog underscore Aaron. I'm on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker and on Google plus at gplus.to 
slash phone dog. I've got a ton of exciting content planned with the Galaxy S4 and the 30 day challenge. We'll cover as much as we can about this device so you can get a real feel of how this phone operates in day to day use over 30 days. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage and as always, I'll see you in the next video.